Hello, this lesson is going to show you how to measure parallel circuits for electronics. I'll show you how to measure resistance, voltage, and current in a parallel circuit. This is a follow-up to my YouTube video. Here's the address if you want to go watch it as a review of how to calculate those same things in a parallel circuit. To measure resistance in parallel, make sure that your resistors are plugged into the same rows. The beginning leads plugged into the same row and each ending lead plugged into the same row. And then touch your first lead of your meter to either one of those resistors and the other lead to the other end of either one of those resistors. And your meter should read less than the value of the smallest resistor. To measure voltage in a parallel circuit, I've turned my power supply on. Uh, the meter itself is reading 5 volts. Even though the power supply says 4.9, I'm going to I'm going to go with the reading on my meter at 5 volts. I've just got the leads directly connected to the power supply. Now I'm going to attach those power supply leads to my circuit. This power supply is connected in parallel to these resistors. Notice that the resistors are plugged into the same row of the breadboard, both at the beginning and at the end. That's a parallel circuit. So to measure voltage in parallel, Touch the first meter lead to one end of the resistor, either one, and the other lead to the other end of the resistor, either resistor. We should read the supply voltage because voltage drops in parallel are the same. So either resistor will read the same voltage drop. But measuring current in parallel is different. Here I've switched my meter to read uh, up to 20 milliamps of current. To measure current in parallel, you break open the circuit plug your resistor into a different hole and then connect your return lead to the power supply. So right now current is flowing down the red lead through this first resistor and back down the black lead to the power supply. There's no pathway through the second resistor. But if I put the red lead of my meter on the end of that resistor and the black lead against the return black, then it reads a current of 5 milliamps. Now if I want to read the current going through the first resistor, I just switch places with that, that, uh, that return lead to the power supply. I'll connect it to the first resistor. Now it has a pathway, but there's no pathway of current going through the second resistor until I connect my meter. And then it shows 12.5, 12.6 milliamps. That's how you measure current in parallel. Always remember to have a resistor in series with your meter when measuring current. If you were to touch the leads of your meter directly to the power supply leads with no resistors, it would have so much current flowing through your meter that it would blow the fuse or damage your meter.